Who is the best martial artist in Fate? That's the question I'm hoping to answer in this video. And when I say martial arts, I mean hand-to-hand -hand combat. Basically all the people on the thumbnail are who I will be speaking about in this video. While there are servants who use hand-to-hand -hand combat as well as others within the verse, these were the ones I could find the most information on, or that they've been explicitly shown or stated to have these skills at very high levels. And while someone like Heracles has shown CQC, he's not really in the running for right now. I'll also only be going off of skill and not strength. Basically, if this was all equal stats in a sense. And first, we will start with my boy, Achilles. Achilles was stated to be a master in all that was taught to him, as Chiron narrates in the Apocrypha novels that there was nothing left he could teach Achilles by the time he was only 10 years old. The martial art he learned from Chiron was Pancration, or however it's properly pronounced. Pancration is stated within Apocrypha to be perfect slash perfected hand-to-hand -hand techniques. Pancration being a legitimate martial art that existed back in ancient Greece. It is said in fate to be the oldest form of mixed martial arts. It involves boxing, wrestling, kicking, holds, joint locks, and chokes. We even have a very good example of this martial art in the anime when we see Chiron and Achilles fight, as they wrestle briefly, box, and we see Achilles do lots of fancy kicks. Achilles even being able to adjust himself mid-air after one of his ankles is grabbed and still somehow kick the side of Chiron's head while he's still in mid-air. Speaking of his fight with Chiron, Achilles managed to beat Chiron in a fair 1v1. Chiron literally knowing all of Achilles' moves on top of being a master at his own styles. Chiron having Eye of the Mind and Clairvoyance above Emia, who is someone who can fight while being blitzed in Unlimited Blade Works. It's even stated that Chiron has limited future sight, as well as him just straight up saying that himself in the manga. So basically, Achilles can beat Chiron in a fair 1v1 fight, while Chiron is a master of the same martial arts. Chiron also having extremely high levels of knowledge in all fields, including reading his opponents on top of his Eye of the Mind stuff that I talked about previously. And Achilles, while reckless, is extremely calculative, and has been stated to be able to repeat hundreds of battles in his head to beat an opponent. And it's not that he only used Chiron's teachings as he massively grew in skill over his years in the Trojan War, to the point he's even able to switch combat styles on the fly. So I think it's safe to say Achilles is a beast. Next up, we're going to talk about everyone's favorite detective, Sherlock Holmes. Elemental. My dear. Which is an odd person to add to the list, but one that I thought I'd throw on as he stated to be a martial art user. That martial art being Baritsu, or Bartitsu. It's referred to as Baritsu in Fate, as that is what it was dubbed as by Arthur Conan Doyle, author of the Sherlock Holmes series. Sherlock in his Fate Go profile is stated to be a master at this martial art, which is stated to use striking and boxing while also having counters and throwing techniques mixed in. Looking up this martial art also says it involves French kickboxing, which is like normal kickboxing but only allows foot kicks, so no kicking with your shins and such. And it is also stated to use jujitsu, which falls in line with Fei Go, saying he uses throwing techniques and counters. Sadly, we don't have too many examples of Sherlock dominating someone in the story like we do Achilles fighting Chiron, but he is stated to be a master in this mixed martial art. Sherlock does, however, battle Quetzalcoatl in Grand Order. He references his martial art as being the ultimate self-defense, 
This is clearly just hype to a degree in the context of this fight, but he does lose this fight. He does comment that Quetzalcoatl's strength alone is too much for him, so it's more that she is too strong as well as being skilled enough to put him down. Next up is Iron Saint Martha. Or at least that's what she's dubbed as by other servants. Considering she apparently packs the power of a freight train in her arms alone, Sherlock being the one to comment this himself? Anyways, let's move on to her actual fighting ability. It's a little hard to find actual mentions of her specific martial art. Martha has inherited a fighting style of old that was created by Jacob and taught to Moses in Christianity. You can look this up on your own if you like, but basically Jacob used this martial art to wrestle slash fight an archangel, fate even saying that this is a martial art meant to combat archangels from Christianity. Once again, it's kind of hard to fully delve into her martial art. Most of what we have are statements about battles she's had, or a few showings in Fate Go. She's beaten other servants in hand-to-hand -hand combat and even beat Beowulf with a cross counter. Although she stated she is not a boxer, she performs a boxing style move. Beowulf even stating that she has the aura and fighting spirit of a famed fighter. Martha also faced Quetzalcoatl in an MMA match. Her spirit origin is said to be like iron. It is why she's called Iron Fist sometimes, as I've previously mentioned. She is said to have crazy power for someone with such a small frame by Sherlock, who as we know, is certainly someone whose opinions and commentary hold heavy weight. Quetzalcoatl only winning the match because she was stated to have caught Martha off guard. Martha even admits that she hesitated previously and that if she didn't, Quetzalcoatl may have lost the match because Martha would have put her in a clinch hold that could have won her the match. Quetzalcoatl even stating after the fight that even if she took advantage of an opening in Martha's big move, Martha could have easily kept fighting and possibly won. And during this fight, Quetzalcoatl does show great skill at being able to dodge punches or minimize the damage of punches by evading right as they're striking her, which Sherlock comments about it being extremely hard to do. And I'll post a few of Quetzalcoatl's bio stuff and info on the screen, but she does have her wrestling slash luchador skill ranked at EX, ranking in fate going from E to A, while EX is basically meaning off the charts, meaning she certainly ain't no slouch, as we've seen in Grand Order, although she was vastly stronger than the people she fought in the Grand Order anime. I could have added her to the list at this point, but Martha is kind of implied to be relative, if not above Quetzalcoatl in skill, as previously shown with Quetzalcoatl saying she likely could have lost the fight if Martha wasn't caught off guard and flinched in their battle. It is worth mentioning, however, that her animations in Grand Order do show her in a boxing stance while also showing her performed kicks, and other animations showing her perform elbow strikes as well. This likely meaning she is primarily a striker, with knowledge and skill in clinches slash clinch holds. And there is also the fact that Li Xuan, Beowulf, and Yang King all express desires to fight her in unarmed combat and see her as a worthy opponent. Speaking of Li Xuan, let's talk about him next. Xuan <laughs> <laughs> uses a martial art known as Baji Quan, which reads as follows in his Fate Go material book page. One of China's principles, this is proof of how much one has mastered the martial arts whose goal is to have the practitioner become one with the universe. Unlike other skills, learning this one is extremely difficult and only at rank A can one finally claim to have obtained it. Moreover, if one adds the triple plus ranks to it, it means they have become a master among masters. The use of the spear is usually considered his special ability, 
but when Li Xuan is summoned as an old man, he prefers ending things with a single strike of his fists. Now, Bashi Quan is a legitimate martial art that is still in practice. He is considered a master among masters in this martial art. Baji also includes joint locks and such which have been used against Muay Thai fighters. Baji Quan is considered one of, if not the most competent Chinese martial art. This video I'm showing right now shows a Baji Quan user fighting a boxer. I'll put all this in the description as well, but while the boxer has an advantage at the start, the other guy starts to take advantage with throws and such. This martial art primarily focuses on elbow, knee, shoulder, and hip strikes. When blocking an attack or nearing an opponent, Baji Quan techniques emphasize striking major points of vulnerability, namely the thorax, legs, and neck, but does have some throws and such mixed in as it does have multiple styles within. In the Fate Extra material, he has a very wacky statement about his phantasm. It's considered similar to Tsubame Geishi, aka Kojiro's phantasm, in the sense that he was so good at this one thing that it became his phantasm. The entry reads as follows. To be accurate, this isn't a noble phantasm in the traditional sense of term. Rather, it is the ultimate expressions of the true power possible by mastering the martial arts. Li Xuan is considered to be one of the very few to have gained total mastery over his style, and in fact, was believed to have transcended the need for physical attacks, instead defeating his opponents by engulfing them in Qi. It is worth mentioning that his concentration and mindset is a big factor in a fight. His concentration is stated to be beyond what humans are capable of meaning that it is highly likely he will not lose his temper in a fight, unless he's fighting his younger self, aka his lancer form, which is just his physical prime. All in all, he has some very insane statements compared to the other martial artists on this list, which further cements his place among the best. Last but not least, we have the assassin of Shinjuku, aka Yan King. <laughs> Yan is certainly an interesting one to research. Zhanggu Quanfa is the name of one of his skills in the Fate material books, also translated as Chinese boxing in Fate Go. He possesses it at an EX rank, which is proportionate or the same as A triple plus in this case specifically. It has a similar statement to Baji Quan in the sense that it has the same philosophical view to become one with the universe. Looking up Zhangku Quanfa, takes you to Chinese martial arts as a whole. It is stated in Yan's bio that he is likely the originator of all of Quanfa, or at least a large portion of it, as Quanfa itself is said to be another term for Chinese martial arts, or that it is translated as such. Yan actually does fight the Lancer version of Li Xuan, aka his younger self, Xuan actually losing to Yan King in a martial arts match. This is the young Li Xuan, which Yan stated that Li lost his cool. It is highly likely that this is the reason he lost this battle, likely meaning that the older version of Li Xuan would either win or put up a much better fight. And once again, Yan also fights Quetzalcoatl. It's getting a little ridiculous at this point, isn't it? He says he basically half-assed the fight, but he more than likely lost due to a power difference rather than a skill difference as he stated to have the upper hand the entire fight, and that Quetzalcoatl is getting amped throughout the fight. Sherlock commenting in the fight that Yan has likely also studied Baritsu to a degree, as he's striking vital points in a similar fashion. So, who is the best martial artist here? It's honestly kind of hard to choose who to eliminate over the other. Considering there are lots of statements that Martha can either be on the level of or considered to be a worthy opponent to the likes of Yan and Lee, but there isn't much known about her martial art. 
because in all the examples that I've shown, a good chunk of it is in reference to her physical power and spirit origin. So at that point, she is likely eliminated, but debatable on whether she can beat specific characters on this list. Next to be eliminated is likely Sherlock. While he certainly is an incredible martial artist, he does have his martial arts skills at a lower rank than people with other martial arts. The ranks aren't 100% indicative of what is truly better, but when you compare it to the likes of Li Xuan, who is a master among masters, or even Yan, who knows Baritsu to a degree, on top of being a possible originator for multiple martial arts, and having his Quanfa at an EX rank, then you can also see how Sherlock starts to fall short. So in my opinion, this basically comes down to Achilles, Yan King, and Li Xuan. And I'm honestly not too sure who comes out on top here. As I mentioned before, Li and Yan have fought, although it was Li's younger self, who is stated to have lost his cool, but showed relativity. They are both masters in Chinese martial arts, and both have similar statements in regards to their martial arts and their mastery with it. And Achilles doesn't necessarily have these statements, but like I mentioned at the start of the video, he does beat Chiron in a fight who knows the majority of his moves on top of having instinctual reactions and future sight paired together. And even that wasn't enough to beat him. You can make a similar argument to what I've been saying with Quetzalcoatl, as Achilles could have won only due to his physical strength and speed. But the whole point of the phantasm he uses disregards his own divinity, so that he may fight on equal footing with someone. He specifically made it for Hector so that they could have a fair fight. And even within said fight, he does get boxed up pretty hard at the end and has to catch Chiron off guard. The biggest reason I'm still keeping him in the running is because we have so much information from novels, manga, anime, and Grand Order itself. I do just want to say that regardless of who I am eliminating here, I do think that every character on this list can put up a tough fight for every other character on the list, or at least push them to a degree. Because even Martha is stated to be a worthy opponent to others on the list. So who do you all think is the best hand-to-hand -hand combatant in Fate? There is likely more martial artists that I don't know about in the series, but some of the material for it is either too obscure, I don't know it, or I can't find it anywhere. Feel free to comment down below what you think, and I hope to see you all in the next video.